Hi, I'm Lisa Leiter in Chicago Business Today Grubhub. Grubhub this week made its first acquisition, buying New York-based Dot Menu. The online takeout ordering service did it with the help of $50 million it landed in its fifth round of venture funding. Dot Menu runs allmenus.com and campusfood.com, and now Grubhub will have the largest number of restaurant listings in the country, more than a quarter million in more than 50 cities. Joining me to talk more about what's next is co-founder and chief executive Matt Maloney. Matt, thanks for being here. When we spoke last in March, you had told us that if you were going to do an acquisition, it would have to be for a company that was very unique, that you would be buying time, basically, because you felt like you could build anything. So tell me why you made this acquisition of, of Dot Menu this week. What did this do for you? Dot Menu is an incredible company. They have a very similar business model to ours. They were doing online ordering in hundreds of college campuses across the country. So as Grubhub looked to expand our markets, we're going from the top major metro areas down the chain to lower markets. They have come from the bottom, the university markets, and aggregated multiple campuses in the, the mid-tier to lower markets. The decision was really, do we want to go into these markets and compete head-to-head -head with these guys who are awesome at college marketing, something that we've never done before? Or do we want to join forces with them and really just dominate the industry? We chose the second. So where does this acquisition then put you from a market share standpoint? Head and shoulders above everyone else combined. So Grubhub is absolutely the leader in all online ordering for delivery and pickup for independent and small chain restaurants across the country. It was only a few months ago that we spoke and, and you've already blown away some of the expectations that, that you told us in terms of, of the number of employees and number of markets, number of listings. What are your short-term goals for the rest of the year? Our, our goals for this year was to more than double in all facets of our business. Restaurants, orders, revenue, f total food sales, employees, square footage. Everything was ahead of track already before the acquisition, which doubled it right there. So our short-term goals from here out is to just continue the breakneck pace of growth. Independent restaurants across the country want more business. They need more business. And they have a really hard time doing online ordering by themselves. So we have a lot of restaurants saying, Grubhub, how can you help me? And we say, no problem. So what's your current revenue and what are your growth projections for the next year? We're going to place over $250 million in food sales uh, to local restaurants this year as a, as a group company right now. So we're just continuing on that rate and we're going to see if we can grow faster than that. Okay. When we had spoke earlier, you talked about you know doubling your revenue to seventeen million at the end of the year. Mm -hmm. Are you past that already? We are. We were on track to beat that alone, and then we folded in dot menu. So um, we're definitely going to be two x that. You've you've taken huge amounts of venture funding. So what's the plan from here? Uh, the financing, the private financing we've taken to date, has all been to fuel the growth. We see an opportunity, we jump on it. And many times, jumping on it requires resources, whether in the form of, uh, 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 of capital for sales, capital for marketing, or, or people. And so every time we see a positive opportunity, we go for it. The acquisition was another one of those opportunities. Um, we will continue to finance smart decisions over time, but we're definitely not taking money just to have money in the bank. Are you planning to take the company public? Uh, again. It, it depends on the financing needs of the company. So if there are reasons to raise substantial amounts of money and the public markets are available and that seems to be a strategic decision for the company, absolutely. There's, there's nothing that would stop us from that now. The question is, do we want to and does that make a lot of sense for us? And so we're still thinking about that. So what's the most critical thing then that you could do for your company in the next year? Do you already have your eye on the next acquisition? Tell us what you're, what you're going to be let's looking this toward one next. First. Let's, <laughs> let's integrate the teams. Let's make sure that um, all of the incredible products and incredible service that make, make up Grubhub is transferred over to the, to the dot menu markets and the dot menu restaurants and diners. Uh, we'll start there. And then if we are able to do that successfully and continue to grow their business at our rate of growth, it's going to be game over. All right, Matt, thanks so much for being here today. Thank you. And that's this edition of Chicago Business Today. For more on Grubhub, be sure to check out chicagobusiness.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. We'll see you back here on Monday.